Hello, today I would like to show you the Motorola DP2400. This is a newer generation than the first one, which is a DP3600. So we've got some improvement, but we've got also a downgrade that I don't like. The outside, first of all, how it looks like inside your hand. This is what I like the most of the video, when you can see someone holding the radio. You can tell that it's uh, rugged and nice, so I like that. The PTT, I would say this is in the uh, middle between these two radios. On that one I've got an uh, accidental PTT. On that one I never got. It's they managed to make it that way that is easy to press, but it do not press accidentally. They they manage to do a nice engineering job, and this is my favorite PTT. But that one I would say is uh, in the middle. It's nice, and it's also kind of hard to accidental press. But still worse than that one. That one is a masterpiece. We've got uh, two programmable buttons that you can assign from the CPS. From top we've got our channel selector that got a 16 position. And something that is the worst. Here is the antenna. We compared to the to the stubby, they are both UHF. I don't like this, and this is why I do not recommend this as a amateur radio HD. Is they do not have a SMA connector. Even that on a first look, that looks like an SMA, but there is a no center hot wire. This whole body is a hot wire. There is a missing hot wire inside, so that is not a SMA. Let's take a look how the first gen SMA looks like in compare. And here you've got a center hot pin. We've got the insulation and hot pin, and here we've got just a whole body. Looks like they put a hole maybe in case you accidentally try to screw it and not to damage the radio, but this won't work because you are connecting this to the to the to the to the ground. That is a ground. So yeah that's not uh, not the best radio. No worries. That is a Motorola this is a rugged radio, you can drop it, no problem, don't be scared. They've got no problem in rough treatment. Let's take a look at the side connector. Of course, they change it. Who knows why that one was pretty good. If you take a look at this radio, and that is a connector for the audio socket, for your accessories, you can say, yeah, they've got full ride. It have a very small body. You cannot fit one of that. Making a new connector 100% fine. But if you take a look here, accidentally, actually, you've got a more space than this connector. You, you've got no problem putting it here. This is the battery. That is the body of the radio. Why they change? I've got no idea. Let's take a look. So this is the old type connector. As you can see, you've got a port for the external antenna that is on the shoulder mic. And you can screw it. And on the newer one, you've got, I'm not saying that this connector is bad, just I don't like uh, spending money on on new one, and that is a grease that I added. 
you put it like this, you go like this, you slide it here, and you lock it in place. There is no screw. At the beginning, I've got a uh, I've got the feeling that this might be fragile or break, but no problem. I've got also the DP2400E. I may make a compare in future. So how to remove it? First you unlock it, you pull, and it's unlocked. So once again, you go like this, pull it like that, and you lock. So it looks very nice. But I'm not sure if that uh, justify buying all new accessories because this is not only uh, replacing a speaker mic but also a programming cable. So yeah, and that is a speaker mic. Very nice, working perfectly. And by the way, that is a analog and digital radio. What is also good about this? We've got a. Uh, they put a new battery, battery is also a impress battery. What is really nice is that if you've got your charger, you can charge your new radio and you can still, even if the shape of the battery is different, got no problem in charging your DP3600, which is a first generation. So if you've got a drop-in charger for uh, like six batteries, six radios, then you do not need to replace it because it's going to work just fine. And the belt clip from the battery, as you can see, I remove it from, from that radio. I've got no problem in clipping it here. That is also interchangeable, which is good. I like it. I like it. And the the compare. So that is the compare is a little less taller. Very very nicely. I'm still love in the SL4000. Absolutely in love. The size and the performance is absolutely amazing. So here it is. Quick look at the DP2400. Of course, I'm not going to tell you all the specs because you can read that from the from the PDF from Motorola. Most important is uh, a look. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.